physical and anthropometric characteristics of basketball players by j r hoffman introduction the popularity of basketball as an international sport has been well publicized over the past 20 years although the rules differ across the various professional and amateur leagues the sport itself is predominantly played as a high intensity strength or power event previous descriptions of the physiology of basketball had suggested that the intensity of the game was dependent upon coaching strategy however changes in rules and character of the game have provided a more specific physiological requirement for success in 1996 hoffman and colleagues in a four year study of elite male basketball players indicated that components of anaerobic ability that is speed vertical jump and agility were strong predictors of playing time while a high aerobic capacity was reported to have a negative relationship with time although additional studies examining performance predictors of playing time are limited subsequent research has tended to support the importance of strength or power and anaerobic ability to basketball playing performance example comparing starters to non starters or different levels of play Pochik et al noted the importance of explosive power and anaerobic capacity as determinants of shooting performance and a recent study by Garcia Gil and colleagues in elite female spanish basketball players indicate that height wingspan body fat and time in t drill test were significant predictors of playing performance a recent investigation examining data obtained from national basketball association draft combined reported that anthropometric measures specifically values relating to length were the best predictors of future basketball performance followed by upper body strength fact box components of anaerobic performance that is speed vertical jump and agility are strong predictors of playing time while endurance capacity has a negative relationship with playing time this chapter will focus on the physical and anthropometric characteristics of basketball players and the relationship that these measures have to basketball performance when possible comparisons between positions and leagues will be done although focus of discussion will be based upon recent literature histor- historical perspectives will be provided when appropriate physical attributes of the basketball player this section will examine the contribution of various components of fitness and how they impact the basketball player data will be discussed related to both sex and league in addition prof- professional basketball will not be grouped together but rather data from players participating in the nba will be separated from the results of professional basketball players participating in various teams across the international basketball Fe- federation aerobic capacity the maximum oxygen consumption we have to max of male basketball players has been reported to range from 49.8 ml kg per minute to 63.4 ml kg per minute these investigations focus on national collegiate athletic association division 2 european and tunisian professional players interestingly it has been suggested that changes in rules relating to the shot clock reduction in time allowed to shoot the ball from 30 to 24 seconds and moving from two halves to four quarters resulted in a need for greater aerobic capacity although evidence is limited cormery and colleagues in a 10 year examination of male basketball players playing in top french basketball league reported that the aerobic capacity of guards increased from 51.0 plus minus 1.6 ml kg per minute in athletes before the year 2000 to 63.4 plus minus 2.2.7 2.7 ml kg per minute in athletes playing after the year 2000 no changes in aerobic capacity were noted in forwards and centers during the same time span in contrast to previous reports 
guards appear to have a greater aerobic capacity than either forwards or centers in collegiate and professional level basketball in both men and women whether an increase in aerobic capacity among certain positions in basketball is related to changes in physiological needs of basketball is not clear evidence to date although limited suggests that aerobic capacity is not a predictor of playing time or performance in elite basketball players in contrast to relationship reported between aerobic capacity and basketball performance in men aerobic capacity has been suggested to be associated with basketball performance in women however as previously indicated investigations examining the relationship between aerobic capacity and basketball performance in both men and women are scarce in the past decade interestingly ben abdulkrim and colleagues reported that aerobic capacity was related to high intensity activity during a basketball game in tunisian male basketball players whether this is a function of tunisian basketball league or a global trend is not well understood further research is needed in this area anaerobic power components of anaerobic performance that is speed vertical jump and agility have been demonstrated to be strong predictors of playing time in elite male college basketball players power performance in basketball players is most often assessed via a vertical jump jump tests are reported as jump height or jump power the latter test can be performed either on a force plate or predicted from vertical jump height different methods of vertical jump assessment have made it difficult to compare between studies or to develop normative data studies in the past 10 to 15 years have been consistent consistent in demonstrating that vertical jump performance can differentiate between starters and non starters in nba players and ncaa division 1 women and between different levels of play a recent study by spitori and colleagues indicated that the counter movement jump was able to differentiate between players of different competitive leagues in women's basketball basketball players in the women's national basketball association jumped significantly higher than athletes in the australian women's basketball league and ncca division 1 women's basketball significant differences have also been reported between positions guards tend to jump significantly higher than centers and power forwards in men but these positional differences may not be seen in women especially at lower levels of play however vertical jump power expression is significantly greater in centers than guards which likely reflects the greater mass seen in these players however this difference is lost when power is expressed relative to body mass examination of vertical jump data in nba players reveals interesting results figure 1.1 provides a perspective of standing reach height vertical jump height without a step and maximal vertical jump height with a step nba players are only approx 44 cm below the basket's rim when standing with their arms outstretched however centers are only 26 cm below the rim the average nba player jumping without a step will be 29 cm above the rim and will be 42 cm above the rim when jumping with a step it can be clearly seen that much of the nba game is placed played above the rim interestingly jump height or power has not been demonstrated to be an effective predictor of performance in nba basketball players however that could simply be a function of exceptional level of jumping ability in most nba players fact box evidence from standing reach and vertical jump height of the nba players clearly indicates that much of the nba game is played above the rim position comparisons in players participating in the nba combined from 
2002-2015 are depicted in table 1.1. This data was obtained from NBA draft combine. Standing reach height is significantly different between positions. The standing reach height of point guards was less than all other players. The standing reach height of shooting guards was less than all forwards and centers, while the standing reach height of small forwards were less than both power forwards and centers. Finally, the standing reach height of power forwards was less than centers. When examining total height achieved from a jump without and without a step, results indicated that point guards achieved a total jump height lower than all other positions. Although the total height achieved from jumping by shooting guards was significantly greater than point guards, it was significantly lower than all other positions. No differences were noted in total height achieved from no step and maximum vertical jump height in forwards and centers. Interestingly, when compare, comparing relative jump height between positions, no significant differences were observed between positions in either jump height with a step or without a step. Figure 1.2 depicts the range of average jump height, no step or maximal jump height with standard deviation for 16 years of NBA combined testing. The highest average maximal jump heights have been observed in the last three years of reported testing, in which average maximal jump heights range from 89.6 to 91.6 cm and average jump height with no step ranged from 76.3 to 77.6 cm. Strength Examination of the literature in the past 10 to 15 years has found a paucity of data reporting maximum strength in college or professional basketball players. It is surprising considering that maximal squat strength, one arm squat, has been reported to be a strong predictor of playing time in NCCA Division 1 male basketball players. Hoffman and Marish reported that the average one arm squat in NCAA Division 1 male athletes was found 152.2 plus minus 36.5 kg. In a position by position analysis in NCAA Division 1 male basketball players, Latin and colleagues indicated that collegiate forwards were significantly stronger than centers but similar to guards, lower body strength has been suggested to be important for boxing out and positioning during a basketball game. An investigation by Koklu and colleagues comparing first and second division Turkish professional players suggested that isokinetic leg extension and leg flexion strength was unable to differentiate players between the two divisions of basketball play. Interestingly, the only recent publication that has reported one arm strength in collegiate basketball players assessed the front squat and hang clean in both men and women NCAA Division II players. The explosive action of the hang clean and its ability to integrate strength explosive power and neuromuscular coordination among several muscle groups suggest that this exercise has similarity to many of the actions common to basketball players and may be a more appropriate exercise to assess in basketball players than the squat. Thus improving strength in this exercise may provide for a better transfer of strength to the basketball court. Hang clean strength in NCAA Division 2 Men was recently reported to be 44.0 plus minus 6.1 kg and 23.7 plus minus 2.7 kg in women. 
Previously, Latin and colleagues reported maximal strength in the power clean to be 99.2 plus minus 15.2 kg in NCAA Division I male college basketball players with forwards being significantly stronger than guards but not centers. In a previous discussion of the physiology of basketball, Hoffman indicated that bench press strength was the most common strength test testing measure reported in b- basketball players. This was despite a poor relationship reported between playing time and upper body strength. Maximal bench press strength in NCAA Division I college basketball players was reported to be 102.7 plus minus 18.9 kg with no differences noted between positions. Ben Abdelkrim and colleagues indicated that the 1RM bench press strength in Tunisian first division basketball players was 92.1 plus minus 8.3 kg. Recent research has suggested that upper body strength may be a moderate predictor of future NBA players. Figure 1.3 provides the average number of repetitions performed by basketball players invited to the NBA combined between the years 2000 and 2015. The average number of repetitions performed was 10.8 plus minus 5.6. This is equivalent to a 1RM bench press of 115.6 kg. Table 1.1 provides a position by position comparison of the number of repetitions performed in the 185 LB bench press test. Figure 1.3 Number of repetitions performed in the 185 LB bench press test in professional basketball players participating in the NBA combined 2000 to 2015. Although power forwards performed the greatest number of repetitions, they were not significantly different than those observed for any other position, and no significant differences in repetitions performed were noted between any position. However, these results should be interpreted in an appropriate context as lower body strength was not examined or compared in these athletes. Speed and Agility Initial research with elite college basketball players indicated that speed 30 meter was a significant predictor of playing time. Speed has also been demonstrated to differentiate between different levels of play in some studies, but not all. Ben Abdelkrim and colleagues report that sprint speed, either 10 meter, 20 meter, or 30 meter, was not related to high intensity performance in basketball. While sprint performance did not predict future performance in the NBA as determined from actual basketball performance during the player's initial competitive season. Figure 1.4 depicts third fourth court sprint speed in athletes participating in the NBA combined from 2000 to 2015. The average sprint speed during this 16 year period was 3.29 plus minus 0.14 second. No significant changes from this mean were seen at any time. It is likely that sprint speed of these athletes was similar and at a high level to limit this fitness component being an effective predictor of future basketball performance. It is likely when there is a greater variability of performance that sprint speed may be a better predictor. There does appear to be differences in sprint speed comparisons between positions. Although speed does not appear to be significantly different between positions in basketball players participating in NBA combined. Point guards were 0.2 seconds faster than centers in the 3-4 court sprint. Others have reported that, that guards are significantly faster than centers in male Spanish under 15 players but not under in under 16 or under 17 players. Others have also indicated that guards are faster than centers in Turkish men, Belgian men and English women basketball. The distance used for assessment in these later studies 
were 5, 10 and 20 meters. Speed of professional basketball players participating in the NBA combined, figure 1.4. Agility has been observed to be more consistent in its relation to basketball performance. Hoffman and colleagues were the first to demonstrate that the T-drill was able to predict playing time in elite male basketball players. Subsequent studies have been reported that the T-drill was a significant performance predictor in Spanish first division women's basketball and can explain 38.9% of the variability in high intensity shuttle performance in a basketball game in Tunisian men. Other using change of direction tests to assess agility also reported the effectiveness of these assessments in differentiating levels of play. These results are not surprising considering the rapid changes in movement and direction during the game of basketball. Anthropometric measures a recent study indicated that a matrix of anthropometric measures labeled as length size, which included wingspan, hand length, standing reach, hand width, and body weight was more important for predicting future performance of basketball players in the NBA than power quickness or upper body strength. These results probably reflect the physical similarity among players invited to combine in speed, strength, and vertical jump ability. Other studies have also demonstrated the importance of anthropometry in differentiating players of different levels of ability in women and adolescent basketball players. Garcia, Gill and colleagues reported that elite women's Spanish league basketball teams that were more successful at the end of the competitive season tended to be taller with larger wingspans and a lower body mass index. However, no significant differences were detected for these variables. Skin fold thickness was the only anthropometric variable that differed significantly between the teams, with the lowest skin fold thickness observed in the highest ranked teams. Table 1.2 depicts the anthropometric measures including length size, and basketball players participating in the NBA combined from 2000 to 2015. Each position differed from each other in height, body weight, and wingspan. This is consistent with other studies comparing anthropometric measures between basketball playing positions. Body composition NBA players also differed between positions. Guards and small forwards appear to be leaner than both power forwards and centers. However, all players were quite lean. An 8 to 9 year study in men and women NCAA Division 1 basketball players revealed that the body fat composition of guards and forwards for the men was 8.6 plus minus 3.3 percentage and 14.9 plus minus 4.8 percentage respectively. Body fat composition of guards and women forwards for the women was 19.2 plus minus 6.3 percentage and 24.2 plus minus 5.7 percentage respectively. Differences between the guards and forwards for both sexes were significantly different which was similar to that reported by others examining European professional basketball players. The ability to improve body composition may be limited. Fields and colleagues reported that body composition values remain consistent across the athletes